Welcome back to MKE Gadgets. Today we're not gonna do a project, but I'm gonna show you a project I made. I made a two by 72 inch belt grinder. These are the instructions I bought offline from Jeremy Schmidt's YouTube page. I'll put a link down below. A very well thought out machine and some great instructions. Thank you, Jerry. Let's go take a look at the belt grinder now. This is a picture of Jeremy's belt grinder, and it's a weldment. He welded it out a half inch steel bar. Well, I'm a much better machinist and fabricator, so I machine mine out a half inch aluminum. Most of the parts here besides the wheel and the handle are half inch 6061 T6 aluminum. I chose stainless steel quarter inch fasteners for most areas, because the stainless steel won't rust, and it really makes it look nice. I engine turn most of the surfaces. So it looks like the dashboard off of a 60s British sports car. So here's the front of the bell grinder. Let's do a walk around. Has the one horse motor. 1740 RPMs. Let's see it run. If you want to rotate the belt 90 degrees, just loosen these two up. Tighten them down. Let's turn around and do a walk around. If it's laying down at 90 degrees, or it's all the way up, changing belts to snap. First, let's put it in the upright position. Now, changing the belt is quite easy. Pull back on the handle, and the belt slides off. Putting a new belt on is just reverse. Feet around the wheels. Pull back on the handle. Line it up in the middle of all your wheels. Turn the power on. After changing belt, sometimes you have to adjust the tilt on the wheel. And this thumb wheel We'll push this screw out and put the wheel on an angle, and that will help with tracking. So here's the belt grinder with the wheels removed. There's two wheels, two inch wheels, sealed bearings. It slides right in. In the future, I can make different wheel configurations. So the tool rest, it's all bolted together, so in the future, I want, I want to have it tilted at 45 degrees. Everything is modular, everything's aluminum, slides right in. With the belt off, you can see a little more detail of the tracking wheel. There's a spring in here that stops this bolt from sliding backwards as it vibrates. And with the belt on, this is tilted forward. I hope you enjoyed today's video of the do-it-yourself belt grinder I built with instructions from Jeremy Schmidt.
Thank you for viewing. Please share this video with your friends and please subscribe if you haven't. This is MKE Gadgets. We'll see you tomorrow.